everyone, my name is Amanda. Uh, I got my undergrad at Florida State University in 2002 in mass media communications and English. Um, I have worked in a variety of industries. I've worked in oil and gas, uh, interior design, education, and most recently uh, in pharmaceuticals. My desired job when I'm finished is to teach English and creative writing at the collegiate level. Uh, there's five strategies and the first one is return to your origins. I turned 40 this March during the COVID chaos quarantine. Um, we were all stuck at home. It was during that time that I was able to reconnect with that inner whispering. Occupy the perfect niche. This is probably the strategy that scares me the most and that's because the idea of occupying that perfect niche is so unknown. There's not a map, it's uncharted waters and I, I don't have any control over that and that's really hard and that's, that's scary for me. It's, um, you don't know what your perfect niche is gonna be until it, you're almost there. Uh, you don't want to abandon your skills and experiences you have gained, but find new ways to apply them. Letting go of the past is more about letting go of the mistakes that I have made. It's about letting go of self-doubt, that I don't have enough work experience um, to translate into the field of education. Avoiding the false path and finding your way back. Those are two strategies that for me kind of go hand in hand. My deviation has not really been a Gatsby or Gordon Gecko-like lure of the abundance of money. It has more been a deviation because of financial stability. I just wanna have enough to provide for my family. And so I have taken jobs beneath me that I didn't love in order to fulfill that side of myself. The turning point for me on my journey to mastery when it was two separate events. Um, the first I've already mentioned, finding the journals near my 40th birthday. Um, the second event, it's been about five or six years in the making, uh, I began substituting. Every time I walked in the door, I just, I was firing on all cylinders. I was motivated. I was, my dream career path is twofold. First, I wanna write a fiction novel and get it published. Second, I want to teach English, creative writing, and marketing at the vocational or the collegiate level. My goals during this course to help me achieve my mastery are number one, practice saying no. I am not going to spread myself thin on random projects and um, volunteer opportunities, which is what I would normally do. Instead, I am going to practice saying no and focus only on myself and that inner whispering. And number two, I am going to reach out to others in the industry, uh, professors, writers. I want to find a modern day role model that I can speak with and pick their brain and just take some good advice from them. I'm really excited to get started on this journey and I look forward to working with everyone. Thanks.